So, most people are either dog people or cat people, not really buffalo people, but regardless of your pet preference, I think this next unboxing is totally off the chain. And if you like it as much as I do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. This exhibit comes to us all the way from Israel from an artist named Narit Lavav. She started her art career, you know, fashion designing, formal wear and evening wear, and then later transitioned into art. And it's probably because it runs in her veins. Her mother was an arts and crafts teacher, her father was a set designer in Israel, and nothing went to waste. So this thrifty, crafty attitude really transcends into her work, and she uses all recycled materials. I can't wait to see what she's using this time. Let's check it out. So some of the other pieces we've seen of Nurit's use light bulbs, motorcycle pistons, keys, bike chains, all sorts of materials. So who knows what this is gonna be of. All right, this one looks like it's gonna be bike chains. Oh my God, and it's heavy. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna throw this down here. I'm gonna give it the old one too. All right, this is adorable, and it looks like a Yorkshire Terrier made out of bike chains. So it's a puppy, and it's actually a Yorkshire Terrier named Choo Choo. Nurit told us that she was inspired by a little Yorkie walking down the street and the dogs were her favorite animals. I actually remember Nurit talking about this piece when we were talking about purchasing it. And she said she got the bike chains just by going to a bike store and asking what leftover materials they had. She got this massive box of chains and that's what gives this little guy some serious weight. He weighs 32 pounds. Believe it or not, three dogs survived the sinking of the Titanic. And I don't know if this little guy would have made it at all. Also, Puppies only sweat from the bottom of their feet. <laughs> May as well tell you that while I'm lifting it. <laughs> We've actually featured another one of our dog bike chain creations in our book, and it's of a dog pooping, and it's not as cute as this little guy, but pretty awesome as well. When Narit's done with her creations, she gives it a little kiss on the nose to give it some good luck. Choo Choo is actually going to our new Amsterdam location, which is perfect because Amsterdam is such a huge cycling city. Amsterdam itself has 800,000 residents and 881,000 bicycles. That's more bikes than residents. 15,000 of those bicycles are fished out of the canals every single year. The city even employs full-time bike fishermen. Yeah, bike fishermen. It's pretty crazy. So Yorkies were bred in Yorkshire, England to catch rats in clothing mills. And I don't know why I find this so weird, but they can be litter box trained and people actually do that just like their cats or something. And believe it or not, Yorkies actually have hair, not fur. That hair makes them hypoallergenic. And if people are saying they're allergic to a Yorkie, it's either just they're allergic to their dander or saliva. And actually, just like we can be allergic to dogs and cats, dogs and cats can be allergic to us. I found this out firsthand because my dog, Cruella, is allergic to human dander, like super high levels of it. When I first got her, she was completely bald, nursed her back to health. It's totally rare, but now she's living the life. She even has this awesome red like for a bodysuit. Makes her look like Britney Spears in the Oops, I Did It Again video. Super cute. Let me know in the comments below who wore it best. Thanks for watching, guys, and letting me brag about Cruella for quite a little bit. If your pets belong in Ripley's Believe It or Not, let us know in the comments below. We're always looking for interesting tricks, treats, and feats. On to the comments from last week on the John Lennon video. We're gonna start off with Bex Called on YouTube, who was a huge fan of the puns, the Beatles puns that we threw in there. I love myself a good pun, so thanks for calling that one out, Bex. We also heard from Christina Casborn Dindinger, who mentioned how awesome it is to actually be able to touch something that John Lennon touched. And I completely agree. In the Ripley's collection, we even have Elvis's blue suede shoes. Being able to see those and hold those is a completely surreal experience. We also heard from Erin Nicole, who said it was cute that I didn't know how to use a jukebox. And yeah, I know. So I wasn't the only one on set. We have a whole crew. Everyone decided that it was great that I had no idea what I was doing, like a typical millennial not knowing how to use a jukebox. And no one even told me. So it was a sick practical joke, but it ended up in my favor. I learned quite a bit and I wrote it on our blog. Go check it out for more information. We also posted on Facebook asking you to guess what was in the jukebox and Mike Randolph absolutely won. He gave us some great guesses from Lou Reed to Herman Hermits, Cream, The Birds, and quite a bit more. So thank you so much for your enthusiasm, Mike, and chiming in. 
And then finally, as always, Paula Dean brings us back to the puns. This one's for you, Bex. She said, Yoko Ono, I can't believe it didn't work. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, guys. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.